Welcome back to another cryptocurrency video and today we'll be talking about Dogecoin and Dogecoin has had a very rough week. Dogecoin also seems to be somewhat following Bitcoin in terms of the trend of the price because Bitcoin has been trending downwards and Dogecoin, if you look at both charts, you'll realize that Dogecoin and Bitcoin look really similar in the way that they're moving. Now, some of you guys may be looking out for a Dogecoin crash or a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency crash. And some of you guys may be looking out for a rebound to all time highs very soon. And then some of you guys may be looking out for the consolidation. And today we're going to be looking at what the analysts are saying about Dogecoin and getting their input on what's going to be happening with Dogecoin moving forward because I know many people are very excited and worried at the same time because you probably invested a lot into Dogecoin or some other cryptocurrency and the price keeps trending down and you want to know if you should keep holding or if you should take your profits and exit now and is Dogecoin actually going to go back to its all-time high of around 71 cents or further on getting onto a dollar this year. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So we're gonna be looking at what the analysts are saying or what the analysts are predicting and why they're doing this. Now, before I get into all the details, just a very quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content. A very special thank you to all my returning viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to the channel once again. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new here and seeing me for the first time, my name is Ian and on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save money, ways to invest your money, whether that's in crypto or the stock market or with a business, credit cards, banking apps, and everything to do with personal finance. So if you haven't already done so, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel and turning on all notifications. And that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos, which is every single day. Now, these analysts, their predictions are really good to listen to because most of the time they'll cover a lot more bases than we would and actually analyze the cryptos all the factors affecting the cryptos in ways that we most likely wouldn't do ourselves. And so I think it's very important that we at least see what the analysts are saying before we either buy or sell any more cryptocurrency. Now, about two days ago, Dogecoin bottomed out at around 21 cents, and that's the lowest point that it went to. And if you guys were lucky enough to buy in at 21 cents, then you'd still be up right now. You'd still have profits and you'd be happy right now because Dogecoin seems to be consolidating at around 36 or 38 cents following that dip. It was a very quick dip and it didn't stay at 21 cents for too long. And as soon as it got to 21 cents, there were a lot of orders and the volume spiked and a lot of people sold off just before 21 cents. And then all those people bought Dogecoin at around 21 cents and they're buying all the way back up to around 30 cents. And I personally think that that was a very good price to get into Dogecoin at. So even though the coin is still at around 36 or 38 cents, if you bought in at 21 cents, you'd be up almost 100% on your investment, which is really good. And Dogecoin is still down all the way from around 71 cents earlier on this month. Now let's look at what the analysts are saying and we can go on to FX Street. And this is a popular news source for cryptocurrencies and investments. And you guys can go ahead and read these news articles. But really, what the analysts are saying here is that the bullish rally has not come to an end and Dogecoin could definitely retest the all-time high at around 74 cents. And they're suggesting that a good entry price for Dogecoin right now is at around 34 cents based on the 12-hour chart. So the analysts are still bullish or bearish for the most part on Dogecoin and they still think that Dogecoin can go back to its all-time high, which is good news if you're already investing in Dogecoin. Now also remember that most of the bad news has already come out with China banning Bitcoin and now cracking down on mining, which affected the price of Bitcoin and also affected the price of Dogecoin. And then Elon Musk calling it a hustle just a couple days before and the entire crypto market getting into a frenzy and crashing and and Dogecoin, I think Dogecoin has already tested the bottom, which is 21 cents, and then it quickly spiked back up. The volume came back, and although Dogecoin has been very volatile yesterday and the day before, it seems to be consolidating right now at around 35 or at around 34 to 38 cents, which is really good. And consolidation is really important, guys, because this is where the investors that have a lot of money will enter into Dogecoin or even hedge funds will enter in because they don't want to be buying into a cryptocurrency or a stock or anything that is super volatile where the price keeps swinging to the 20 cent area and then to the 30s and then to the 40s. 
and then back all the way down. These massive hedge funds and these whales are not going to be investing at that time. They're going to want to see some consolidation which tells them that the price is stabilizing and then that's where they want to be investing. So this is why this consolidation period is very important and if Dogecoin actually consolidates and stays at around the 34 to 38 cent area for a while then we'll definitely see the volume spike because a lot more whales will start to enter the cryptocurrency at that point and the volume will spike and also more people will be investing and the price will generally trend upwards from there. So although the price isn't skyrocketing and the price isn't going up as much as you'd like to see it go up, the fact that Dogecoin is consolidating or at least is trying to consolidate right now is a very, very good reminder or it's good news and you should definitely be happy to see this if you are a Dogecoin investor. Now, of course, there are other analysts that are saying that Dogecoin is going down and it's going to be crashing and that is a possibility. However, whenever you have a coin being so volatile and then consolidating, the chances of having a massive drop or crash is lowered. And the fact that Dogecoin is consolidating right now, or at least trying to consolidate, is a really good sign. And if it does actually consolidate for the next couple of days or weeks, then we will more likely see an upward trend in the price of Dogecoin instead of seeing a downward trend in the price of Dogecoin. Now, if the volatility continues where the price keeps spiking up and down, then that is where you want to be worried and that is where the possibility of having a mega crash can happen. But based on what we're seeing right now, I think that Dogecoin is definitely going to be consolidating and then it's going to stay there for a while and then eventually it will start trending upwards again. Now, with that said, remember guys, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not a cryptocurrency expert so these are just my opinions and my assumptions on what's going to happen with Dogecoin and I know some of you guys bought in at the all-time highs probably 50 or 60 cents so I know you may be worried and some of you guys may have actually bought in at a lower price point now to lower your average price invested in Dogecoin and I think based on the consolidation that we're seeing now the price is going to trend upwards in a couple of weeks so as of right now, I wouldn't be too concerned, but if there is an increase in the volatility and the price starts to swing up and down, then that is where I would definitely get worried. So I'm definitely going to be holding on to my Dogecoin for a bit longer. I'm not selling, I'm going to hold. But also remember, if you have already made a lot of money in Dogecoin, it doesn't hurt to take some profits and then keep some money invested because cryptocurrencies are very volatile and they can swing in any direction at any time without any warning. So keep that in mind while you're investing in Dogecoin or any other cryptocurrencies. So these are my thoughts on the recent swings in the price of Dogecoin. And I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you think is going to happen with Dogecoin in the coming weeks. Do you think we're going to have a bull run again? Or do you think that the price is going to consolidate for a while? Or do you think that Dogecoin is actually going to crash and probably go to zero? And are we going to lose all our money? Comment below and let me know your thoughts on this. As always guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. And if you like this content, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you never miss the updates of when I post new videos. And be sure to check all the links down below in the description to free and helpful stuff, which includes links where you can get free crypto, free cash, or free stocks. So be sure to check all the links down below in the description. Once again, thanks for watching. All the best with investing in Dogecoin or any other cryptos. And I hope you guys make a lot of money. And I will see you very soon in the next one.